Hello students, welcome to my online class. In this video, we are going to discuss the story, The Emergence of a Jew. This is an excerpt from Gerald Duda's The Ox Anniversary. Now, let us discuss about the author and his works. Gerald Durrell was a British naturalist, conservationist, author and television presenter, who is the best remembered for the books based on his hilarious experiences as an animal collector and zookeeper. He was born in Jamshedpur in India. He founded the Dural Wildlife Conservation Trust and the Jersey Zoo on the Channel Island of Jersey in 1959. His some other literary works are as follows. My family and other animals, a Jew in my luggage, the garden of gods and so on. Now let us discuss about the story outline. The story is an extract taken from the book named The Ox Anniversary, in which the writer Gerald Durrell shares some of the incidences from the early days of his Jew. At the age of six, he predicted his willingness to have his own Jew. From the very early childhood, he had a great passion for animals and birds. He wanted to set up an ideal Jew. At the age of 21, he received 3,000 pounds as an heir, but it was insufficient for him to start a Jew, so he started his career as an animal collector, but it was a short-lived career for him. He failed to progress in this profession because as an animal collector, he realized that most of the dealers were ruthless to the animals. He didn't like to indulge the short of slave traffic that most of the dealers used to do. To take care of the animals, he spent all his money. He made spacious cages for the animals and gave them proper care. However, to do so, he spent all his money, but the knowledge he gathered was invaluable, which he utilized later on to set up a Jew. Being empty-handed, he started to write, getting insisted from his elder brother. On March 14, 1959, the Jersey Geological Park came into its existence. He had brought all the necessary things from the West Africa and tasked them away in his sister's back garden in Bournemouth. And then finally, they were shipped to Jersey. For several months of hard labor, they ultimately accompanied to finish their work. Gerald Tudor shared some of the incidences from the early days of his Jew. He mentioned about an incident about two half-grown chimpanzees, Chumle and Lulu, once they visited his mother's cottage and his mother welcomed them and treating them like guests. She made them sit down on sofa and gave them some chocolates and biscuits. While they were busy to eat, she rang the authority about the worrying incident. Here the author also shared another awkward incident when an enormous python named Pythagoras, about 12 feet long, coiled up one of the keepers, John Hartley, and when the author was passing the reptile house at dusk, after the Jew had closed, he found John and rushed to unwind the snake. But it took him in its hold too. Luckily, their cries were heard and rescued by the mammal stuff. The narrator mentioned such bizarre incidents which is a part and parcel of their job. However, the story ends with a note on why Dural wants to have a Jew. Because he wanted to save those endangered species because of human activities. So now the story ends over here. Go through the text. Hopefully that will be a helpful. Thank you.